Two pitch to Blake Primrose right there strike three a fired up Greg Minnick goes back to the dug Trojans on a one-two pitch from Shafley hot shot Eichler can't handle it at third base once again a leadoff base hit for Indiana Charlie Manzi's on yeah and like you said Austin back-to-back -back innings back-to-back -back leadoff hits and if you're 1-1 one, one pitch to homers he shows bunt gets it down Shafley picks it up looks towards second and throws over to first the grab by Selecki and sacrifice. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Five ball into center field. Chance running in on it. Makes the catch. And Manzi took a couple of steps toward the inside corner. The 2-0 is grounded. Big hole up the middle. Base hit. Manzi rounds third. The throw into the plate. Manzi's going to be safe. RBI base hit. Tim Birch comes through. Indiana takes a 2 to as Trevor Smith shows Blunt, pulls back, runner goes, Birch on a high throw is going to be safe and tried for third. Chance will throw that way and it hits the runner. Birch will be safe at third. It was way high and a fly ball to center field. Chance backtrack on it and just a couple of steps over to his left makes the catch. But Indiana, very, uh, not uh, very often you see it. But he hits one in the gap in right field. And Safar is off to the races. He's rounding second, looking for three. The throw comes in to the infield. Not even close. Safar reaches. Easy triple for Joseph Safar. Runner on at third. Ground ball to second base. Smith throws the first. RBI ground out. Anthony Selecki. The deficit is cut in half. The offensive force for Indiana. It's a high fly ball. Deep to left field. Backtrack wall. No doubt about it. Ben Ryan, seventh home run of the season. Indiana leads 3-1. Okay, I'm fairly certain. So there's signage beyond that left field wall. I couldn't tell if it landed in front of the signs. I think it might have cleared the signage out there in left field. But man, Ben Ryan. Freaking power with that bat. Seven homers on the year. Dante, that's where we Anna. Once again, a two run lead. And the line shot in the right field for a base hit for Hunter Martin. He's two for two. Three runs in two plus innings. Swing and a miss. McGee's retired for the second out. 22nd. Here's the 1 1. Swing a high fly ball. Deep left field. Backtrack wall. Kennedy watches it. Throw out of here. Charlie Mann. The Indians are absolutely mashing right now. We kept talking about, oh, they don't hit too many home runs, but they've hit two today. And both of them were just absolutely coming into today. Five so far today. Deep fly ball, Caden Homer back to the warning track and it's off the wall. Homer easily into second base. He's thinking about three, but will hold up at second. The throw came in into the cutoff, man, and it's all Indian. And on a two-two. Looks at strike three. Great breaking pitch by Greg Minnick. Minnick delivers a 3-2, runners go, and Primrose looks at strike three. Greg Minnick gets out of it. Brings up Smith, first pitch swinging, and there's a fair ball. Eifler long throw, bounces a couple of times, and Selecki, all he can do is prevent it from going into right field. Indiana up by four. First pitch swinging, lines it out right to Eifler, who throws back to the bag, and the ball gets away from Selecki. Smith will charge to second base and be in there standing. Thinks about third. Throw comes in to Caroli. Those things are so good. It smells delicious. Oh. That's a delicious pitch. One, two, right in there for a strike. Three, two pitch to Riker Kennedy. Breaking ball, strike three, looking. Riker Kennedy goes down. And Sawecki, both in scoring position and a chance for Safar. Running home will score on the wild pitch. So a balk and a wild pitch. Pitch. Like we're trying to bring him in. Line drive right field will do that and it gets away from Collinger. Ike 
four rounds first. He's going to second, and he's going to stop there. Run scores. Sawecki to the plate. 5-3. North Catholic scores two in the bottom half. Trying to help his cause on the one-two pitch. Shafley swung at it, dropped third strike. Shank has to throw to first and completes it in time to get Shafley. Fifth inning, two, three, four hitters for North Catholic and hits it on the button to Homer and over his head. Caroli with good speed towards second, thinking about three will go to third. Caroli with no throw, slides into third with a laid off triple. Ryan on early for the minute. And hits a fly ball, left field, it gets down. Fair ball will score Thomas Caroli. North Catholic continues to chip away. It's a one-run game. Could change on the one-two. Swing and a miss. Indiana has retired Brimrose three times. Throughout the game. It's that one. Well, right on cue is a wild pitch. Let's move the runner Shantz up to second. You believe in the announcement? Beatrice, the runner in scoring position. Beatrice delivers. Line drive, left field, base hit. Chance is going to be waved around third. The throw is not cut off, but bounces into home. Tie ball game. Oh, and Beatrice. RB is looking to try to strike again. The one-two pitch. Wide into center field. Deep fly ball. Burt's trying to track it, but he can't. It's way over his head. Beatrice rounding third. He's going to score easily. On the RBI double, Joseph Safar comes through. North Catholic takes a 6-5 lead. Gone. Here's the pitch. Swing at a ground ball. Gets through the whole left side base hit. Everyone will just move off station to station. As Kennedy first. The pitch. Ground ball back to the mound. Okapul goes home for one. The first double play. Huge outs for Indiana. Tired. Dating back to the third inning. And right on cue, a base hit for Caden Homer to center field. I mean, come on. Come the on. announcer drinks strikes again, I guess. Three in the third. Shows Bond again. This time is able to get it down. Shapley looks towards second, throws the first. Sacrifice is completed and moves Homer up to second base. One out in the Indiana half of the sixth inning. Ground ball. Beatrice to first. Out at first as Shapley came to the bag to cover. The 2-1 to Smith. Fly ball into the gap in right field. So far, trying to cut it off and does. Good play. On seven hits, gets the bunt down to Ryan, who looks at second, throws to second, and the ball goes into center field. Runner Napolitano will move up to third as Homer played it in center. Interesting choice. Runner goes, throw goes down to third, not in time. Napolitano back in there at third base. And the 0-2 pitch is skied in the left center field. Birch is on and makes the catch. Birch will throw it in towards the plate. And Napolitano is in there safely. Sacrifice fly for Ryan Shantz. North Catholic adds a 2-1 pitch. And is skied in the center field. Homer comes in a couple of steps and makes the catch. And that's Caroli makes his way back. Mount Lebanon up next. 2-0 pitch is popped up. Catcher Shank under it and makes the grab. But North Catholic with a two-run game. It was a huge first out last time up for North Catholic. It's a fair ball down the line for Ben Ryan. Ryan touches first, going for second. It's sitting in the right field corner. Huge right field corner area in foul territory as Ryan makes his way all the way to third. The ball gets away, but good job by Shapley to back it up. And what could have been an easy the pitch to Martin. Line to short. Caroli plays it. Off a hop, picked by Selecki. And how about Ben Ryan staying at third base and go to 9 0? Fly ball into right field. So far, North Catholic wins the one for the thumb and are named WPAL 4 8 champions. What a comeback! by North Catholic to win it seven to five and close out Indiana.